Alright guys, Tedgrub here back again today. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday so far. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you happen to be watching this one, today is Championship Saturday. Well, not really, I suppose Championship Saturday is probably next weekend on the 29th of August, but today is the second last day, the penultimate day of the Call of Duty playoffs. Today we're going to talk about the potential of a matchup coming up tonight, that being Paris versus London. There was some drama that went down on the timeline last night regarding the gentlemen's agreements that are currently in place. Now London, we're going to break those due to Paris, well, effectively the cheating situation that Slack was talking about against Seattle a couple of days ago now. We'll run through that, we'll run through the matches for tonight. Intrigued to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below as always. Like if you guys enjoy the video, subscribe if you are new. Also shout out to Draft Buff's Draft Rail going on tonight once again. You can join it down in the description box below. Draftbuff.com slash join slash tactical should be in the pinned comment as well. That will take you to the latest version whenever you click on this link. Let's go through this then. So as Sean pointed out to me yesterday, a couple of interesting tweets that went down. This one from Ferro earlier in the day. There is no competitive integrity from from the pros this year beside a select few that I have respect for but no BS it's sad man come on guys we are grown men get a grip unreal so um this ended up being deleted and as we looked at yesterday a relatively similar tweet to this one from Frosty which is still alive zero competitive integrity over here in the cod scene y'all are super weird now um well the discussion here really was around was Florida Mutineers playing the Toronto Ultra squad earlier in the day than was advertised which may be the case these tweets came out several hours before the matches even went live and Toronto of course ended Ended up beating them 3-1 at the end of the day. That has been part of the discussion really with Toronto Ultra since they actually became a good team is like what's going on? Are they using the start cam glitch? Are they using something else kind of dodgy? And it almost seems like Frosty and um, well Ferro in this one are pointing at some of the Toronto Ultra guys using something dodgy in the game. Then we look at this tweet right here. So um, RJ uh, analyst over at the FaZe Clan says you know you're getting a Q straight up at Classic, a straight up Witch Hunt Classic with ATS in it as our World Places says here which ATS auto tax sprint. A, a mechanic which is GA'd out of the game it's like um well an option you can select in game to mean that whenever you put your left thumbstick forward you just sprint forward at a rapid fire speed the pros decided to not use that in competitive play because supposedly it reduces the skill gap and allows players that don't have good movement to have um well artificially better movement they would argue they got rid of it and um well the only one running that on the low is Crim6 because um well he said a few weeks ago that he was using it just to try and test if people could actually tell turns out pretty much that they couldn't but this is a pretty relevant thread when we go and look at what happened just a couple of hours later that coming up from scrap so scraps tweets out ats um you know with the clinking glasses emoji jacob then says who is it saying like you know who's actually using ats as if uh, well scraps is also implying that somebody is using ats in the pro league which is um well not meant to happen but when you're playing online it's difficult to actually tell if people are using these things or not shotzi has shown a number of times how um well you can almost like make your movement look like you're using ats based on certain button combinations which of course shotzi has discovered then at jcap or well then uh, Scraps replies to Jacob with a video as you can see right here I've just put it on cap I'm not risking it this is only like a six second video which of course has since been deleted and he just turns the camera around and points it at his uh, monitor where it shows that auto tax sprint has indeed been enabled so places like her huh, like what's going on here why are you using ATS when it's gentleman's agreemented then Waskin says blame Paris um, and well we'll look at exactly what that means in a second Simna says like stop being weirdos brothers like just take it off and play the game normally how the pros have been playing it for a number of events now then whiskin comes back saying ha paris told us they are doing the dom glitch what do you mean do i just take it on the chin um and well cap comes back i have a feeling the timeline might get very spicy real soon whiskin says we are just using it for the paris series and that is it anyone else wants to go to war then by all means we will dashi says like honestly just go rogue bro um yeah this funny reply from uh, from paris i think to cap for pointing this out to me this is what they were talking about in regards to the dom glitch so i'll put this on screen for you guys to actually um break it down in full detail but effectively as you can see right here this is when proto gets that two piece over at the c flag and uh, well really the situation where like why did proto not go for the full cap here if he had it on maybe seattle even win this right but um well that's uh that's a story for a few days ago really what slack is trying to refer to here is the fact that zed gets killed first then dens immediately afterwards but zed spawns in very very quickly indeed just a few seconds later you know before like dens before he should be able to spawn in effectively and um i believe the reason for this is if you do not skip your kill cam then you can spawn in quicker than you do 
do if you can skip it and um the pros i think have decided that so uh, well skipping the kill cam is so easy we're just going to do that so that the respawn delay is actually enabled there's a question around um whether like kill cams should just be disabled for the entirety of competitive play anyway um given it can give up information especially in this situation we talked about that might be a possibility for champs not happening and um as slack says like he's saying that they're cheating or whatever and well this is clearly the dom glitch and uh, well you know supposedly zed is using it in this clip right here we then get um the, well chronos Elial intel tweets this out and says only using it versus paris as scraps since deleted as they did in backtrack as we're looking in a couple of minutes they're the only team that won't agree not to do the domination glitch that we just looked at um and waskin then says literally about to pub stomp in a loser's bracket because all the ga is going out the window right is what he's kind of getting at here and who knows whether this continued on, right? If Paris didn't backtrack, as it seems like they have done, and if they continued on in the tourney, what would have happened, right? Would they have just uh, continued using this domination glitch that's been discussed? And would other teams be bringing out the Org, they're bringing out the Uzi, like all this kind of madness might have happened. Not going to be the case, though, because Zed then tweets out like, our oh, people are weird or something in the COD community since deleted this one. But Scraps comes back, details, G, this was on you, man. You said you were doing it because I'm, you know, of course I'm going to pull my own stuff out. Um, then Zach says, all done now, bro. Let's just play some Cod. good luck as always and as waskin then concludes with paris are no longer using glitches we are back to normal let's have a good series so interesting discussion the conclusion of which is that it seems like things are going to go back to normal but who knows right um if paris are well slacks clearly found that clip where he thought zed was using it in that um well the clip i just showed you on screen and if that's the case maybe something similar happens i mean um you know maybe you put your controller down and get a drink of water between deaths and all of a sudden you're spawning in quickly by accident right that's what we talked about it at the time when this was first um discovered i suppose suppose that um you know is it really a glitch if you can literally set your controller down and do nothing and still take advantage of the glitch rather than skipping it the pros i think have decided that let's just skip all our kill cams um but you know if you don't do that for whatever reason maybe you're like you know square button stops working or something i don't know then uh, all of a sudden you're glitching and then maybe teams go absolutely chaotic right and uh, start pulling out all sorts of stuff not out of the question these then are the matches for today as we just discussed london versus the paris legion kicking off at 1 p.m eastern time 6 p.m. British summer time at 10 a.m. Pacific time and the matches then go through so these first two are elimination matches Paris London definitely could be a game five on the cards here OGLA versus Rocker I think this could go the distance as well gonna favor OGLA I think just slightly then we go to the winners bracket and these are some spicy series Chicago Huntsman versus the Atlanta phase that's the game fuel marquee match of the day then Empire Toronto to be honest let's just look at these two matches really quick so Huntsman versus phase last time he got these guys played it was a Huntsman 3-0 and that's when phase weren't looking so good but um yeah we'll see if they can bounce back in this one because there could certainly be a winner's bracket run here on the cards for the huntsman if they can get past phase that would be a massive series for them to win in the winner's bracket then dallas empire ultra the last time these two guys played was at the toronto home series when ultra took them down in that 3-1 fashion dallas looking for revenge but ultra looking so so good right now maybe they can get the distance done again on the dallas empire here exciting stuff it does actually finish as you can see so the final match starts at 10 30 my time that means it will finish at the earliest at 12 maybe i can get the recap done tonight maybe i'll save it for tomorrow we'll just have to see how things develop but i hope you guys enjoyed the video like if you did subscribe if you're new as always i would greatly appreciate it just to finish with this quick clip here that chrono cdl until points out from the most recent podcast with hector hex rodriguez there was a discussion from a call in about um well the 16 team potential expansion it looks like hex kind of shakes his head to this one maybe implying that's not going to be the case but certainly a discussion for coming days thanks for watching as always i'll see you next time uh, okay so you know in traditional sports there's divisions and they create rival rivalries so assuming the league expands to 16 would you guys be for creating like four team divisions